Hello guys, welcome to another setup video on Assetto Corsa Competizione on the PlayStation 5. Today we are in the BMW M4 GT3 car once again, and this time we are at the Nurburgring. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any setup videos in the future. Once again, I'm doing this lap in a free practice session, so with the right track conditions, you'll be able to do a similar time in the qualifying session. So as we head down into turn one, then we're looking for the 100 meter board, braking just before that, and down into first gear, making sure we hit that apex on the right hand side. And then we're gonna swing over to the right hand side of the track for the best line through turn two. Second gear through here, and then very gentle on the throttle, making sure we don't get any wheel spin. Down into first gear for the left hander, riding right the curbs, and that will help us drag us around. Short shift up to second as we go through the right hander, and make sure we don't run too wide there because you will end up invalidating your lap time. And then we're looking for the change of color of tarmac, so we're braking as soon as the tarmac starts to get a little bit darker. Try to keep it over to the left hand side so we get a better line through the right hander and then on the power as soon as possible as we head down the hill. I didn't carry quite enough speed through that corner so I did lose about a tenth of a second through there and then breaking in a straight line for the hairpin. I'm keeping it in second gear here but you can drop down to first if you need a bit more rotation but we get a very good exit going up the hill towards the Schumacher S and gaining a little bit of time. A slight lift in fourth gear as we go through the Schumacher S and making sure you don't turn in too early because you can end up kicking gravel on the outside. Down two gears just before the 100 meter board and then a late downshift again into second gear and try to carry as much speed through these two corners as possible on the power as soon as you feel you can for the back straight. Any sliding out of there and you'll lose a lot of time heading all the way along the back straight. So as we head up to the trickiest part of the track then, and it's all about how much can you commit to the chicane. You don't want to take too much curb on the left hand side, but as much as possible on the right. Ride the curbs on the left hand side then as we approach the final corner. Keep it close to the barrier, and again on the power as soon as we can, making sure you don't get too much wheel spin out of the final corner, and across the line to set a 153.6. So let's have a look at the setup then. The temperatures today are 17 degrees ambient and 23 degrees on track, and the track condition is optimum. So as always, if the track is a bit hotter than today, you will need to lower the pressures a little bit. Likewise, if the track is cooler, you might want to increase the pressures a little bit too. Um, we've got the traction control and ABS both on three. I'll keep those the same for the race as well. No need to increase them at this circuit. We've got 17 litres of fuel, which gives us three flying laps plus the outlap and brake pads are both on type one. And then mechanical grip, we've gone a bit more rearward with the brake bias when compared to default. Increase the anti-roll bars and change the bump stop slightly. Soften the dampers a little bit to help control the bumps and also give us more stability through that final chicane so we can commit uh, as much as possible. And then we've gone quite high with the aero, so rear wing on seven, uh, rear ride height on 58, minimum ride height at the front, and brake ducts on three. Obviously, if the track temperatures are hotter, you might want to open the brake ducts a little bit more. Um, you might have seen my previous video where I had a race at the Nova Ring and we were running eight rear wing for that particular race uh, because there was a chance it might rain. Now as always guys thanks for watching let me know which track you'd like to see next and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already uh, so you don't miss the next one.